Hey everybody, Rich here with another retro video. Uh, this one is what I call the last Outlook Express, which a lot of people believe is Outlook Express 6. No. There was one more version after that that was not called Outlook Express 6. It was called Windows Live Mail 2008 edition, which is the version right before 2009, which works for XP, or 2011, which works for Windows Vista and Windows 7. Uh, Windows Live Mail 2008 is actually build 12. Version 2009 is build for, um, 14. I don't remember. One of them is build 12, one is build 14. And, well, anyway, I'll just show you. Okay. This version of Windows Live Mail is very colorful compared to um, how it is now with all the transparency and whatnot. And let's see here. Where can I get? Let me drop down. There we go. About version 2008 build 12.0.1606. And although it's called version 2008, it has a copyright 2007 notice. Kind of odd, but whatever. Now, before I set up an account here, uh, it's like I said, the uh, colors are a whole lot different. And um, another thing that you can do, which I actually quite appreciate, is that when you set the color of an account, like it's yellow, if I go to purple, the icons follow suit, which I think is pretty cool. So I'll just put this back to yellow. And let's see, quick views will collapse that, and I will add an account. I'll try a Hotmail account that I don't use. Let's see if it works. Okay, manually configure. Now I don't know if this version of Windows Live Mail actually has the Delta Sync protocol, which is what Hotmail uses when you actually configure a Hotmail account in Windows Live Mail, but we'll find out. Signing in. Okay, it signed me in over here. Whether I wanted it to or not, it did it. Oh, it appears to have worked, yeah. Well, let's find out, go to properties. Yep, it's using Delta Sync. Although it is using version one of Delta Sync, that's kind of interesting. Now I recently updated that account to the new Outlook.com interface, but this is how mail looks here. I have the preview pane turned off on purpose. Actually, that looks like crap. Why does that? Oh yeah, because I, I have it <laughs> set to read plain text only. Tools, options, read. Don't read in all plain text. It should look normal now. Ah, it does. Okay. And I will change my color scheme to default, the blue. And it assigned it to, uh, had red folders, so I will set that color. Let's try orange. Nah. Let's try green. Let's try purple. Fuchsia. Nope, I guess red was the best one, at least for me. And hey, look, spam in a Hotmail account. Who would have thunk it? Delete. And let's see here. Scrunch my columns up a little bit. This actually works quite well, even today. And you can still do all your Hotmail stuff and obviously set up other accounts like Pop and IMAP. And uh, let's see. The store folder, I believe, is the same as in later versions. Store folder, local settings. Yep. It is. Actually, let me see if it actually crunched the folder by default, meaning set compression on it. Let's go take a look. Okay, and we'll go back one folder to see if it's blue or not. Nope, not blue actually. When you see a blue folder, um, in some Windows Live Mail installations, what will happen is that the app will actually uh, put compression on the folder by default, but this is an uncompressed folder. When the folder is uncompressed, it actually runs a little faster. Not by much, but only if you're real nitpicky about it. 
I notice it anyway. So let's go back to mail. And uh, when you minimize it, you can right click and do hide window when inbox is minimized, just like in later versions. So it, when you minimize it, notice that it will take itself out of the larger taskbar area and scrunch it down to an icon, which is cool. So that feature is here. Um, I don't know if I can actually operate a Hotmail account in this without having it log in to the live service. But even so, you know, basically, who cares? It works. Now, as far as... Uh, oh, here's another thing. It's easy to customize the toolbar, kind of like uh, Thunderbird in this. I can right-click and customize, add and remove buttons. So if I want to take out things like blog, call, send to message, um, print, don't need that one, take out reply all, because I never use that, and hit OK. Now it got rid of those buttons, which is pretty cool. And also when you do a new message, you can do the same thing where I can customize this, get rid of blog, encrypt, sign. By the way, the encrypt function is basically totally useless <laughs> and pretty much always has been in Windows Live Mail. Uh, same thing with priority. No one sets priority on emails anymore. And that's good. Yeah, make it a lot easier. Test mail. Actually, I'll send test mail to myself. Oh, wait a minute. Let me do something here first. Tools. What was it? Yeah, options. Compose. Nope. Send in HTML format. And indent. Yes, quoted printable. Looks good. New message. There we go. Stationary. Remember that? Yeah. Stationary used to be in Windows Live Mail before they canned it in the 2011 version. So if I want to, I'll do a dinosaur. Oh, look, pretty little dinosaurs. Actually, that looks kind of crappy. Let's do a color stripe. Nah, Art Deco. Yeah, I'll use this one. So I'll send a message to myself. Test to me. Test mail to me. Big honkin' text. Select. Select all that. 36 point. Bold. Italic. Underline. Make it yellow. Highlight it in blue. Oh yeah. Now that's looking pretty sexy, huh? No, it's not, but I'm going to send it that way anyway. Send. Do, 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 do. Come on, mail app. Send a damned. Okay. Outbox. And send receive all. There we go. Oh, all right. If I reply to it, it will also keep the stationary, but it will mess it up, of course. This <laughs> throw it back here. Actually, I think we can actually fix that if I purposely do not indent on reply, but let's find out. Uh, is it under send? Yeah, H do not indent on reply. Apply. Okay. Reply. Does it work? No, it made it look even worse. Huh. Well, anyway, there's a stroll down Amnesia Lane. This is, as I said, Windows Live Mail 2008 version, a.k.a. Build 12. Still works if you can find it. Very colorful. Um, it works. Uh, it is, I, I honestly, I think the best version of Windows Live Mail is the 2009 version for XP because the 2011 version sucks. There's just several things about it, I, and I've covered that before that I don't like. This one, however, I do like, because it's kind of got that retro Microsoft feel to it. And I know, 2008 really wasn't all that long ago, was it? Well, four years, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's getting up there in age. But there you go. Retro Windows Live Mail.